I think he may make a better slot with great route running and um, What Shake and Chewy Nation? Chewbacca Lemon here back again once again for Madden 17 half hour only sniping video. Uh, you guys have been killing it, so of course we're going to keep bringing these to you. And I'll answer any questions that I've seen in the comments. I try to respond to pretty much all of them, uh, which I think I'm pretty good at that. But uh, a few concerns as well in the direction that we're going in our ch in, with the channel. So uh, if, you want, if you're curious in that, stay, stick along as well if you're curious on how I do sniping. Uh, check this out as well. So what I have some exciting news. So as you see on the screen, we are over a million coins. We got some good stuff on the auction house. We'll wet 1.1, 1.2 probably. Honestly, 93 overall, pretty good. But EA Sports, they've been listening to us, or they, actually they've been watching our videos. They've been watching them, and then they're like, you know what? This guy's filter is pretty good. This guy's a pretty good sniper. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and help him out. So what they did was because they they really want to help me out because we're tight. They went ahead and put the chemistries way at the top now that we're using. So no longer do we have to go all the way to the to the bottom. If we want to be able to snipe and get good prices, we can just go like that. And guess what? We just got a Dwayne Allen. We're making 1,200 coins. Okay, not a whole lot. But that is so simple. So I, the advantage to other filters, I thought, in my opinion... Um, and there's other reasons as well. But one of the advantages, ooh, Buchanan sold and Spence sold, awesome. Uh, the advantage to the other filters was you can get to them a lot faster. So you just have a better chance of hitting uh, good cards because you could get to them so fast. I'm just going to buy another Allen because why not make even, you know what, we'll keep buying Allens if we have to. Uh, so we're not really sniping per se, but we're definitely working the auction house, which some people say, you know, this isn't really sniping, it's working the auction house. I'm trying to snipe. If you walked at the beginning of the video, that would have been a crazy good snipe, but unfortunately we missed it. And that was not because we failed, it was just because we were just uh we just hit it at the wrong time. But the chemistry change is fantastic. That means that we can get to it a lot faster and we no longer have to the the difference between the other filters was you didn't have it didn't take as long to get to them. But now, but now we're right on par, and I think this filter is fantastic. I've always thought it was fantastic. That's why I use it. Um, it's my filter. Not my, I mean, other people use it, uh, but I think it's, it's one of the better ones. So that's what I use. Uh, on the weekends, of course, Legend Collectibles are fantastic as well. Uh, so don't don't stray away from that. I personally, uh, there's a few things that I, uh, comments that I want to address during this video. So it's kind of going to be that kind of video over this half hour. Uh, some people uh, say, well, why don't you, you know, this, do this, uh, go after, you know, the collectibles or go after and this isn't like a knock on this is great ideas on how to snipe and be maybe even do better the problem is if i keep refreshing which is what would happen i just keep hitting the refresh button should i buy that spence for 4500 nah it would just pass if i keep hitting the refresh button over and over and over again until hopefully i hit something one uh, there's a chance i don't hit like hardly anything in a half hour which i know there's the same chance here but that's really boring and I'm not about just keep hitting the refresh button. That's not for me. Now, it might be successful over the course of time. You may actually make a lot of coins, and I'm not trying to discourage you from doing that. Randall, I have no idea what you were, so I'm going to check you real quick. Um, all right, I can't really make anything off of you. I don't want to discourage you from that, but just refreshing or going after all the small snipes and just trying to make a few, one or 2,000, uh, I... I'm not all for that. I like to, it's kind of a hybrid, uh, which I said in the last video. It's getting those small value deals where you make a little bit of coins, but also not only that, you go after the big ones as well. That's why I like this filter so much is you kind of get a mix. Uh, you can still make a decent amount of coins. You can still make 30, 40, 50K in a half hour without trying too hard, but you also can hit those really big snipes where you make 150K an hour because you hit that big snipe or whatever it may be. So I like it because of that reason. Uh, it's maybe not as consistent as you would want from other filters, but that's just my opinion. You you have your own opinion, um, which is which is fine. I mean, I'm not going. Uh, that's good. Uh, it's good that everybody has different opinions. Uh, Simeon for 14. No, I could. There's no way. No. Eh. Nah. Um. I. Yeah, no. No. Okay. So yeah, we're we're doing uh we're doing all right. We're doing all right with all those coins that we got without putting a single penny again a single penny in the game yes we have a lot of contracts that address that 
We bought them when they were half off. So there you go. Half off, we bought them all. Yes, we have a lot of items. We do play solos occasionally. I don't play a whole lot of them, but pretty much everything I've gotten solos is still in my binder. Uh, even all, I have a ton of competitive badges in there as well. I just need to sell them. They're, I think they're worth like I think I added them. I think they're like worth 150,000, 100 and some thousand of competitive badges. Over 100,000 competitive badges. So yeah, I need to get rid of those as well. So there's a lot of items in there that I could probably just uh, ditch, um, get rid of. Uh, not really ditch, but sell them on the auction house. A bunch of gold players that probably sell for an all right price. I think I sold all the big priced ones, but I'm sure there's other ones that sell for a thousand, maybe a couple thousand. So, yes, that's where that all came from. So, just to address that concern, I have not put a single penny into this game. I promise. You will watch at every single video. I always have zero points. I've never put any points in on my account. I promise you. I, I don't know what else to say. So, also, to address another concern, uh, some people say, well, why don't you just do the highlights? You know, what you hit, cut it out, and put that on a video. Fantastic idea. I thought it was a good idea, too. That's what I used to do, actually. Uh, and then even put some gameplay as well. But what I found is, ju I just want out of the blue. I'm just like, you know what, let's just do one hour, pure sniping, put it up half hour, and see what happens. You guys killed it. Absolutely killed it. And since then, oh my goodness, hello. Okay. That's a good snipe. Um, but since I did that, you guys have been absolutely killing it. And our subscriber count went from like 1,000 to over 5,000 in a little over a month. So to think that that was just coincidence is, you know, silly. So, of course, I'm going to keep doing uh, what you guys like. And I love it because I like just getting on that channel. I would just do that. Why does it, you put it? Okay, it was me. I put it up after you did. All right, my fault. I put it up for the same price that he did. Uh, I was a little late. But they'll, they'll probably sell anyway. Um, so that is why I don't... Uh, that's why I don't do it is because this is what you guys have sh told me. This is what you like. Mosley for 14. I don't even know if that's a good deal, but I'm buying it. Why not? Cover linebacker Mosley. That is so cheap. Color rush. Says he's worth 25k. Let's see how accurate that really is. Not really that accurate, I don't think. But we'll see. The last one sold for 22. So you know what? We're just going to put it up for 22 ourselves and take our 5, 6K. Oh, yeah. There we go. So that is, uh, yeah, I could just put this up and uh, put this section in the in the video. And you guys might be, uh, some of you guys will like that. I, I know. Uh, but I can't make everybody happy. And I like doing this anyway. So it kind of is a win-win, uh, The I, I think. Uh, if you don't like it, I'm sorry. I, I think it's going to stick around, though. I, there's not much else I can say with that. Also, the gameplay has been really, really uh, minimal. And I do apologize about that. There's a few reasons for that. One, it takes longer, uh, just editing itself. Unless I just do the whole game and just give you the full game, which I could do and be like, diagnose, help me get better. Maybe that's not a bad idea. So it may not be very popular. It may be terrible for the channel. I don't know. But my goal is to get better, and maybe you'll see, see me get better over the course because... Uh, it does take a long time to edit, a decent amount of time to edit, not like a crazy amount. It's not like I do anything too crazy. But with a full-time job, as, uh, which is has to take precedence, of course, over YouTube, uh, which is teaching. So it's not just you work eight hours and you're done. There's other things that go into account when you're teaching uh, outside of that grading or just meetings and all that kind of stuff as well. So uh, Ricky Williams for 48? 58. There's just not a lot of value I can make there, and especially since cards keep dropping. If somebody undercuts that 58, though, you'll have a buy. You'll have somebody buying. But uh, with teaching, it's just it's just not it's not feasible to think that I can put all my time into uh, into YouTube. What about Jay Ajaye for why are these cards so cheap? I mean, I know they're dropping, but yeah, so cheap. Okay, never mind. I thought that was a decent deal. I mean, it's a good price. Uh, a, a price that may make you interested to try the card out. But we know prices are going to keep falling, especially when Ultimate Freeze comes out. I am kind of bulk recording a little bit right now because I'll be gone over the next couple days uh, doing uh, speech and debate stuff for uh, I Am The Coach. Again, it's just another thing. It, it's awesome. It's fantastic watching them compete and do well. Um, and be a part of that, but it does take up a little bit of time. Why not? Why not? Uh, so that's that's the problem. Just I don't have the time to invest in every 
uh, single part that I would like to do for YouTube. Definitely one of the things I want to get, I want to invest in, and I definitely will over Christmas break especially, is getting better at the game just in general. So that way when I, I can put the game up and it will just make better videos overall because obviously if I'm better, you know, it's nice to win. But also what happens is if you get behind early, you, you run up against, a lot of times you run up against people who will just chew clock and it's really annoying because you're like, this isn't good for YouTube. Even if you don't play that bad, it's just not a good video. So it's, you gotta, like, as you get better, you know, the videos will just get better because of that reason too. You don't have to worry about that as much because people aren't going to be chewing clock if they're losing or if it's, uh, if they're maybe, if it's really close, they may be, but it depends. But that that's, that's the issue as well. So I run into a lot of chew clockers because I'm just, I'm just still uh, trying to get better at the game. So maybe I should just post the, you know, what I do with my videos is I just, you know, basically I just put it, what I have, this random conversations I have, I just put them up. I'm like, all right, let's just put it up and, uh, you know, hopefully I'll hit a lot of stuff as well. I hardly ever ditch a video um, that I make when I snipe. It's basically, here it is. Wow, so is that my mo oh, that is my mostly. Um, there it is. Hopefully I hit a lot of stuff. Um, but generally, I don't ditch the video altogether uh, outside of, uh, on occasion, depending on, uh, like, the beginning scene that you've seen me almost hit a huge snipe. I ditched it because there actually was a decent, I actually had some 4 or 5K hits in there. Pretty o overall decent. Uh, made a decent amount of coins. Just overall, I just, I felt like there was a lot of things I wanted to say in this video, and it was it was missing. So, so I went ahead and ditched it uh, for that reason, but... Uh, I don't know what I want to do or what you guys want to see. I know you guys want to see more gameplay. Overall, I think that's uh, the comments I see uh, that you guys want to see more gameplay. Uh, without gameplay, the channel is still thriving, so it's not something that I feel like is uh, necessary at this time, but I definitely want to do it because you guys want to see it. Uh, outside of some people who watch it and say, this is why you should only snipe when they see the videos. And you know what? That's a fair criticism, but I, I think I've seen a comment. I'm not going to say who it was, but somebody said, you know, like, basically you need to like basically just stick to sniping um, or something along those lines like you're terrible at Madden just do your sniping videos you know something like that I have got a few of those comments actually Th yes that might be true it is true actually uh, that I'm not great at Madden I don't I have never been able to put the time in that I want to I will agree with it this is like the first year that I've really tried to be uh, competitive at it why there's so many Dwayne Allen's up now uh, mine will still sell though I think um, but I should maybe even buy them I don't know uh, I agree, you know, that is a, a fair point, like, uh, it's, I'm not very good at it, but the problem is, if you have that philosophy, which I think I've said this before in my video, if you have the philosophy that if you're not good at something, you should not do it, then you're never going to be good at anything, so, uh, yeah, I may never be, like, a professional Madden player, I, I 100%, uh, probably would agree with that, because I can't put the time in that other people can put into it, agreed, I'm not going to be the best player on YouTube, agreed, uh, I would like to be better. I'd like to at least be like average to above average on YouTube, at least at playing the game. That would be great. But I'm never going to probably be elite elite because I can't put the time in that other people can. I, you know, but that doesn't mean I'm going to stop p trying. Like, I'm not going to be like, you know what, I'm terrible, so I just give up. Like, that's that's not a good idea. Uh, so, especially for people who are starting out, maybe, maybe you are starting out doing YouTube or starting out whatever you may be doing, you're not going to be very good at it. Uh, I, I can tell you my first videos, I've almost deleted them because I feel like they're terrible, but I haven't, especially because I'm a teacher and students can go back and look at them and be like, and make fun of me, um, which, you know, really hasn't happened yet, but now that I said it, probably will happen. Um, so, you, you, you're, at your first start, things are not going to go that well. If I, at the very beginning, I'm sure there, there was comments like, why does this channel exist? I think I remember that comment, like, why do you even, basically, like, why do you even make this channel? It's so bad, basically, along those lines. Um, but now, uh, you know, we're making, you know, like from just a pure, uh, which I, you know, I don't need to talk about how much, you know, the money wise side of it, which I kind of said before on the stream, but I don't need to really get into that, but we're actually doing okay. That side, we have a full-time job, so money's not really, uh, I mean, I'm not saying it's not great. Money's fantastic. Um, uh, but, um, having a full-time job makes it, you know, we're not really in it for the money, but we just did it because we wanted to try it. My wife and I, uh, I'm like, you know, hey, why don't we do it? And so we did it. The channel was created, and we, I personally, and I don't think my, I think my wife would say the same thing, never really thought we would hit, I don't think 5,000 was ever on the, we never really saw that, and it just kind of happened. It almost happened overnight, really, um, which is pretty crazy, uh, considering, considering everything, 
um, just we're, we were at like 100 subs. It took us months to get to 100 subs, and within the last month and a half, we've gained like 4,000. So uh, it's I, it's crazy. But if we would have listened to the comments or listened to other people, you know, just people, you know, that said you're not very good at this, just give up. You, you, this would have never happened. So sorry, I'm gonna keep going. And if it's terrible and it ruins the channel, then I guess I'll just go down with it. I'll go down with the ship. I it's not it's not my thing to give up on something just because I'm not good at it. It's not it's not me. Um, but I will continue to do sniping because I'm, I think I'm okay at it. Granted, I haven't really hit anything in a while as I'm talking, unfortunately. But I'm gonna keep doing that because you guys like it and I like doing it. But uh, I'm gonna also do gameplay as well, and hopefully you guys will be able to diagnose what I'm doing wrong. So maybe that's what I'm gonna do uh, in the next in the next videos gameplay i'm going to be gone so these videos are going to be pre-recorded a little bit so i'm going to kind of have to just do and, and see how you guys respond um i don't think a full game is generally that uh thought highly of on youtube like i don't really see anybody do it so i'm assuming that's not something that people really like to see like a full game is cut out you know and all that but somebody who's not very good at mad and it may for me especially it may be very useful if uh just even a few people could be like all right i'm gonna run the saints playbook here it is and i it's so tough because then I put if I put in the title like Saints Playbook uh, gameplay or something, people are gonna watch it thinking, "Oh, this guy's gonna show us how to run the Saints Playbook," and it will be such an experience for those people that are watching and be like, um, "I don't think I'm ever gonna run that playbook if it's that bad." So that's always tough too. Try to figure out how to not do uh, clickbait because I'm not that's not my style. We'll, we'll sell you uh, Calvin Pryor. Dwayne Allen, Dwayne Allen, cool. Dwayne Allen sold, cool. So I don't know. I don't know, but that's that's kind of, I'm saying a lot of stuff. So hopefully I'm making somewhat sense. Um, and hopefully we're going to hit some stuff too, because we haven't really hit anything, which is which is not good uh, when, you're, when you're trying to snipe, of course. We have a lot of things on the auction house as well. But they might not, ooh, something might have just sold, cool. Um, they might not all sell in an hour, but that's part of it. Um, when we do our snipe off with... Uh, TD23, uh, we are going to give ourselves a little bit more time. Somebody, Some people have voiced concerns. Actually, it was a concern of mine. How do we decide how many coins you made on a snipe? Because um, if it doesn't sell, like, right, at, oh, do we cut it off of an hour? Do What do we do? Do we, you know, if it doesn't sell after an hour, is it done? Uh, it doesn't really make sense in a, in a way to do that because the idea is to make as many coins as you can. So if you, if you can sell it for 15,000, but... It doesn't sell for at first, but later on the day you sell for 15. That should you would think that would count. The goal is to make coins, but we have to cut it off at some time because if not, we'll just be like, you know what? I'm just going to keep trying to sell this till it sells, and I'm going to win this competition. So we, we're going to cut it off at some point. But um, Terrence, um, I don't know how much you're worth, and I'm probably going to regret even looking you up. Um, no, I'm not. I'm not going to regret it. Just kidding. Just kidding. Dwayne Allen, no. All right. Unfortunately, nothing there that is saying by me. Let's go zone blocker. Schwartz, Pete. Mm, no. Nope, nope, nope. Line pusher. I've also been a uh, wolf. Wolf? Really? Okay. Okay. A little bit there. We're going to sell them for 15 that's not bad. Uh, again, that's not really a snipe. So for some people that say, this isn't sniping. Yes, we're trying to hit some snipes. We, we're trying. Sometimes you don't get them and you just got to settle for a few thousand at a time, which is fine. If, you, or if you're here to see me refresh, refresh, refresh till I hit something, you went to the wrong channel. Not my style. That's cool that that sold that Macklin. Cool. Not my style. I don't remember what I was going to say, but I'm sure it was going to be groundbreaking and it would have been inspiring but i'm not really remembering what i was going to say so we're going to pass um elvin smith uh kind of a rare card so maybe you're worth something nah too rare doesn't sell enough probably to to, to make me happy all right we'll keep going pass rusher was uh not a success i wish i knew what i was going to say but i don't remember oh i oh i know what i was going to say Okay, so no, maybe not groundbreaking. But uh, I've been playing, like I've said in the last few videos, I, I love Sour Cap. Sour Cap is like, it's just got my got me just so excited. I, maybe it's because I'm winning. Maybe I'm playing like Clover Competition, but uh, maybe that's why. So, um, because I haven't, I've only played a couple seasons. 
But you know what? It is fun. It is fun being able to, one, I think my team is like really good on salary caps. So that kind of makes it easier as well when I feel like my team is never outmatched and uh, personnel just overall is really good for for my for my team. So that definitely does help because I feel like you get a lot of people on there that just put together a team that they got and they use the cap and they're like, all right, that's good. But mine was actually kind of somewhat constructed. Um, Gilchrist, I actually think that could be an okay deal. Question mark? 25, nope. It was at one point, like a week, not even a week ago. Oh, hey, 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 hey. No. Thank you. Thank you very much. We'll go ahead and take this Calvin Pryor. I think we have like three of these right now, but we've all bought them. We bought them all for like 5000 so um, if we're making like, we're just going to put this one up. We're going to overcut the other ones that we put up. We're going to overprice a little bit there, thinking it might sell over an hour. No reason to cut ourselves short of a little bit of revenue there. Is this like the best thing ever that EA did for us? I mean, obviously they didn't really do it for us specifically, but the fact that they did this is so phenomenal. I am uh, just uh, just so excited. All right, Matthew, you've fallen quite a lot. So many cards. This is the hard thing about sniping is the prices when new stuff comes out. For me, when new stuff comes out, I think I've said this before, and some people disagree with this, which is fine, but I don't like when new stuff comes out overall as a sniper. Now, as a as a player, it's fun. You get new cards, that kind of thing. Of course, you want new cards, but as a sniper, it's really tough because prices just fall so much, and like when the Christmas promo is about to come out, people know that, so the cards are flooded, flooding the market, um, which makes prices go down. As a sniper, you're like, I don't know what the price is, so that's the struggle. That is the struggle. Pierre Garçon for 40, question mark? I'm buying it. I'm buying it. Bad call? I don't know. I don't know, guys. This might be a decent hit, though. It says he's worth 60, but is he really selling for that? It's really not sold, sold at all. The last one sold for 66, but that was four hours ago. We, it looks like 50 to 60-ish, so I think we at least can make, we might be able to make a decent profit here. We're going to go with 59.5. It's kind of risky because it hardly ever sells, about 10 in three days, but it's so rare, like the card is hardly ever up, that it kind of gives you a little bit of an edge there that you usually won't get undercut or anything. You'll probably be the cheapest one up over the course of an hour, and you just keep putting it up, and eventually it will sell. Um, I have no idea what that brown's worth. I don't think it's probably worth that, but given that it's a deep threat chemistry, you never know. Okay, just good to know. Get the prices going up in your head. I I'm, I snipe, yes. I love sniping. Yeah, I agree. It's, it's fantastic, but I don't know all the prices. John Elway for 30. Look at all these. That's probably a mistake, but I've just seen so many going up in the last like hour that I honestly am going to pass because I, I don't, he was, at one point he was down to 30 not that long ago, and he he went back up, but it's hard to say, is he going to, is that going to happen again? Is it going to happen again? We're, just, we're, we're going to find another spot. I like to pick my spots. I don't feel like that's a spot to pick. I don't think so. Route runner, No. Uh, we're under a million now because stuff isn't selling. But again, we're not worried about that. I'm confident that the the things that I've bought are cards that are going to sell. Um, we're not really worried. A lot of them are low risk sort of cards, so we're not really worried about selling. But of course, you always feel better after stuff sells, and you make you go ahead and put that in your pocket as profit. Of course, um, short wolf. Um, no, all right. Pass rusher. Come on, Harrison. Beasley. Pass rusher was a no-go. Edge setter. Um, when I'm done uh, sniping, when I get finished in a... Uh, there's a Vernon. Ooh, bad, you bringing up bad memories, Vernon, with that potential snipe. Vernon. Marshall. I'm going to show you my team at the end uh, for those who are uh, interested in the team and hopefully be able to help me. I'm going to be running the Saints playbook, at least that for now, the Saints playbook, 
and hopefully you guys will say, you know what, is there something I need to change? Really offense, obviously. The defense is fine, I think. Overall, I think it's been going pretty well. That Cam Chancellor for 30, it's been up for five minutes, so I'm just going to assume it's not a good deal. That's probably not really smart, but I'm going to do it. All right, Mikhail Revis, no. Deep defender was, oops, I just did it again. So that was a uh, no luck there. The fact that you can have a 96 overall, I feel like our teams is slowly, the the pack is slowly going away from us. They're they're getting ahead of us, but honestly, a 93 overall is plenty good enough to compete. Benjamin, no, Andre Johnson has a has a card that I might be eyeballing when cards drop a little bit. Um, another uh, very similar to uh, Brandon Marshall, probably just a little bit better in just about everything, but um, a card that I will keep my eye on. Because Flashback Brandon Marshall is kind of my favorite card. I don't know why it's been that way, but Brandon Marshall is... I think it's. I think what's great about Brandon Marshall is... And this is the same pie with Andre... Oh, definitely with Andre Johnson. Uh, other great blocking wide receivers, Larry Fitzgerald. Is when um, you get... A, maybe you throw it out to... Or even get outside with David Johnson or throw it out to him or something. You will see those guys. They'll hold their blocks so well because they're such great pass uh run blocking wide receivers out there um though I, that's why i think i like it and i like his size i just i brandon marshall i don't know why but brandon marshall i don't know all right we might have to wrap it up soon because uh we we did okay overall we didn't make a whole lot don't pay attention to how many coins we started with and how i mean you i mean i'm not saying you can pay attention to that but don't worry we always make coins on these we've never lost coins um and of course over a half hour no we're close to losing coins actually so uh, unfortunately we didn't really hit anything too much uh, some okay snipes. We missed the big one, of course, uh, in the last uh, the last potential video I was going to make. Uh, we missed that big snipe, which would have been great. But, uh, you know, you can't get them all. And, unfortunately, uh, that does happen when you miss those close, very close snipes. And maybe somebody else got it that's watching this video, which is uh, which would be fantastic. Uh, Tremaine Johnson, Von, Pontez Perfect. Uh, we are running a 4-3 scheme. Um, with our defense, which is working pretty well, that's de the defense is definitely not the problem. Uh, definitely not the problem. Um, big hitter, come on. Clowny. All right, we're going to do uh, a few more, and then we're going to go ahead and switch over to our team and show you, and then hopefully you guys will be able to diagnose. All right, we're going to be running the Saints playbook and say if this, can, if this team is, if there's any adjustments you would make to the team to help I'm going to just finish off with the the, the offensive ones, and then we're going to go ahead and um, call it a day. Uh, okay, ankle breaker. Nope. So we just got three more. The next three. We do these throughout. We do the first seven uh, earlier in the day because early afternoon, early evening, I should say, um, because there's not as many people playing, and they all work pretty well. Um Slot expert, no, zone blocker. All right, last one, Gronk, dang. All right, so, so some stuff sold, which is great. Let's see what did sell. Peppers, good hit there, Armstead. So that was a really good hit on another Armstead. So that was a really good deal on Peppers there, and we got some other stuff. So I think we did all right. Uh, all right, here's the team. So diagnose this. Uh, okay, so our team, definitely probably good enough to run the Saints playbook. Offensive line's pretty good. Um, tight ends are fine. Uh, I think so wide receiver core that's obviously the thing that we would address if there's anything so let me know uh, what you guys think of this video as well as what you guys think of the team uh, defensive if you want to see it there it is uh, pretty good my defense is not the problem corners are insane safeties are insane linebacker core pretty good I run a 4-3 so perfect sits there for chemistry but um, if you didn't know the backup my middle linebacker gives you chemistry as well which you probably know that uh, but I just found that out uh, about a month into Madden. So I've been, I've known for a while, but my I think my wife discovered it. So, um, yeah, that's all I got. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry I didn't hit too much for you. We did miss that really big snipe in the last one when I was trying to record before. So uh, you do get to see that. At least hopefully that was a little exciting to see me fail. But that's all I got. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, thank you again for 5,000 subs, 5,300, wherever we're at right now. It's absolutely insane. Thank you guys so much. That's all I got. Chewbacca Lemma. Out.